today we are going to discuss very important topic which is basis period or assessment of profits okay so as we know how to calculate trading income just a revision quick revision the net profit net profit which is also known as profit before tax it was given we have some rules rules means allowed not allowed allowed expenses not allowed expenses allowed expenses supposed to be deducted not allowed expenses must not be deducted we already knows that so we apply the rules and we have adjusted trading profit after getting adjusted trading profit we have capital allowance after deducting capital allowance the answer is known as tax adjusted trading profit right or wrong now this all working either we are talking about this or that or capital allowance all this working based on accounting year or period of accounts right we were ignoring tax year while we were calculating adjusted trading profit capital allowance or tax adjusted trading profit we were completely ignoring the tax year right or wrong so as we know we know the calculation of tax this amount we have known savings in this we have trading income here so how to take this figure here this is as per the accounting period and this is the tax year so we have special rules called basis period basis period are rules to convert basis period you can say are set of rules to convert accounting year tax adjusted trading profit into tax year based trading income which we can add in our known savings and then we can apply 20 40 or 45% tax on it so this is our format and what is basis period just now i explained you that basis period are the set of rules which we are applying to convert accounting year tax adjusted trading profit into tax year based trading income which will be part of known savings got my point got it huh yes okay now how to do that we have some specific rules for that first of all before starting basis period you must know that we have some division which is first year then second year then ongoing and last year first year means when business starts the first year of trade first year means first year of trade second year means the second year of trade very easy second year of trade last year means year of cessation means in which business close down ongoing is the life of business life of business means from third year till the last year before the last year means we started the business 
it is its first year then the second year will come then automatically it's ongoing ongoing will continue until we have the business and at last at last there will be a time then we are closing down our business it will be called year of cessation so we have first year basis we are divided into four parts first year second year ongoing and last year any questions can i copy this one yeah sure first year first year has a specific rule how to apply it we will discuss after a while just i am writing something just just note it down no need to understand this one just note it down you will learn it after we will do some practice question just i am writing first year will be from date of commencement of trade to very first Fifth April. Just copy it down. No need to understand this. We will do some practice questions. Then we are going to learn it how to apply this. Just remember, first year rule is first year rule is date of commencement to very first fifth April. First year rule is. date of commencement to very first 5th april got it got it okay now here is a small example very small example okay hardeep you can uh, you can see the question now see yes tax adjusted trading profit is given tax adjusted trading profit is given and he is asking you trading income means you have to apply basis period y because it's it's asking it uh, the examiner ask you the answer as per the tax year and the answer calculated is as per accounting year so we have to apply basis period rules the format is you can see now the format is tax year then second column is basis period then the third column is working and the last column will be amount four column format okay 1 2 3 4 how to apply it very carefully he started the trade it's mentioned is he started the trade right or wrong right so it's first year first year rule was right. date of commencement to very first 5th april how to apply how to apply we will learn now now we are learning this rule what is date of commencement can you tell me when you started first may 2020 when you started the business your year not year end i am asking when you started the business when mr this guy hardeep started the business first june 2020 correct the date of commencement is first june 21 right or wrong tell me think about it and tell me when the very first 5th april will come after 1st june 21 date of commencement is 1st june 21 so when very first 5th april comes so here will be 5th april can you tell me the year end please <coughs> which year Fifth so April when twenty one twenty two when twenty two twenty two correct. Now which tax year is this? 
this is what 22 so here mm -hmm. will be 22 how to take it always take it from the end the end is what what is the end 22 so i wrote what 22 so 22 is the end so what will be the first 21 right or wrong Till here, any questions, please? No question. Okay. Now, amount. In order to take the amount, we have to do some working. This 50,000 is for the year end. Year end means how many months? Yes. Fifty thousand is for the year end. And year end means 12 months. Mm -hmm. This amount is for 12 months, right or wrong? Mm -hmm. How many months of basis period you created? Can you count, please? How Over many months? 10 months? This one. June till April, how many months, please? 10 months. June, July, August, September, October, November, December, January, February, March. You are right. So we have 10 months. Can you use the calculator and tell me the answer? So one, six, six, seven. This is the answer for the tax year. And this answer will go to known savings column of your computation of tax, which we learned at the start of the course. So this is the first year rule of basis period. I will repeat. First year means year of commencement of trade. The rule is date of commencement, which is 1st June 21. And when very first 5th April will come after 1st June 21. So it's 5th April 22. So the ending is 22 means the tax year will be 21, 22. The amount of 50,000 is for the year end. Year end means 12 months. And we make this period, which is highlighted in yellow. You just told me 10 months. So the answer is 4, 1, 6, 6, 7. This is the first year rule for basis period. Any questions you can ask me, otherwise you can copy it, okay? Now, this is the first year. There is a small question at your screen. Question number two, Jenny. Uh, in, the, in this question, Jenny, we will going to learn the second year as well. But before learning the second year rules, I need you to please tell me what will be the answer for first year. Can you do it? Okay. The business is started from 1st January 21, means it's first year of trade. So we will go to very first 5th April, which will be in 21 or 22? 21. 21. Okay. So the amount is 12,000 for the year end. Year end means how many months? 12 months. And we make a set of basis period. How many months? January till April 5 is 3. Because 5 days we are not counting. So January, February, March. So the answer is 3,000. And the tax year will be ending is 21. So the start will be 20. Correct or no? You identify correct tax year or no? Yes. Okay, very good. Now... Till here, we are fine. This is first year. Now, very carefully, we are discussing second year. Okay? 2021 is my first year, so the next year will be 21-22. This will be my second year. Correct or no? Uh, yeah. Second year has a lots of rules. First year is this one, first year is done. Only one specific rule. 
but second year have a lot of rules the rules depends on one logic you have to ask one question to yourself the question is we have a year end given which is known as period of accounts is it given in the question or no Yes, you are right. Is it correct? I wrote it right. Correct. This is my period of accounts. As per the question, you have to ask yourself one small question. The question is: Is this year end fall in second tax year? The second tax year is highlighted in green color. The second tax year in this example is twenty one, twenty two. It can be any year. It can be any year. It's not specific that the second year will have to be twenty one, twenty two. No, it can be anything. But in this question, this is my second year, which is twenty one, twenty two. So my question is: Is thirty first December twenty one this is specific date? This is specific day. Thirty first December twenty one. Is this day fall in the tax year twenty one twenty two? What is your answer? Is it yes or no? It does yes. Sorry. Yes. Your answer is yes. So, if your answer is yes, fine. If your answer is no, we are going to apply rule number four. <laughs> okay. And if your answer is yes, we have rule one, we have rule two, and we have rule three. We have three rules. Relax. I will explain each and every rule. Okay. Till here, if you have any confusion, please ask me. What we did? We just wrote the second text here. This one. First, we wrote this one. Is it twenty one, twenty two? Right or wrong? Right. Then we took the year end from the question. The second step. This is number two. This is first step. This is second step. And we ask a small question. That is the year end fall in my second tax year. Answer will be yes or no. Right or wrong? Right. My answer is in this case the answer is yes. yes. Correct. So. We have three options. Which option we are going to apply? It's very easy. It's not typical. First time we are doing this, so that's why it will seems to you tough. But it's not tough at all. Okay. Now, in this question, rule one will apply. Why rule one will apply? Just look at the screen very carefully. This is what in the question. What is given? Year end is given. Year end means how many months? Hello. Yes, twelve months. Year twelve end. months. But at your earlier studies, you learned that company can make a accounting period greater than twelve months. Is it okay? Fine. Yes, company can do that. Company can make accounting period less than twelve months. Yes or no? Company can do that. Yes, it's choice of the company. Company can make their accounting year exactly twelve months. They can make their accounting year less than twelve months, and companies are allowed to make accounting year greater than twelve months in the first year of trade. It's allowed in law paper. You already discussed that topic. That first year, company is allowed to have account period of accounts. Period of accounts can be exactly twelve months. Can be greater than twelve months, or it may be less than twelve months. So, if the first year end, first end, first end is exactly twelve months, the rule will apply is called rule number one. Then rule two, rule three, we will discuss later on. So, in this question, you can tell me by yourself that rule one is applying or no. Yes. 
Sorry. Hello. I cannot hear you. So can you hear me now? Huh? Yeah. Yes. Because it's no. a because it's a year end. In the question, the profit given is for the twelve months period. It's for the year end. That's why rule one will apply. Right or wrong? Sure. What is rule one? Rule one is copy paste. Rule one is copy paste. What is copy paste? What is copy paste? Very easy. Just carefully look at the screen. What we will copy paste? The year end as it is. The year end as it is given in the question. We are going to copy it. And paste it in the basis period. The rule one is copy paste. Copy paste means whatever is given to you in the question, you are going to copy it and paste it in your basis period solution. Copy paste means what is given in your question, the same year end with the same amount is going to be. Copy and paste it in the basis period. Again, second year rule. We are going to check the year end given is is in the second tax year, which is thirty first December twenty one. Is this date this specific day one day this day fall in twenty one twenty two tax year? The answer is yes. Then we ask ourselves: Is it year end? Or is it less than twelve months, or is it more than twelve months? The period is exactly is written year end means is completely twelve months. So what we have to do? Just we copy it and we paste it. Simple. No need to do any calculation in the second tax year. This is rule number one for second year. Any confusion? Yes, is my any questions? Okay. Now <clears throat> there is one small thing. Your actual or real profit is how much? Your actual or real profit is twelve thousand. But in the basis period, you broke the broke it down. In three and twelve, so it became how much? It became fifteen thousand. The actual profit is twelve thousand, as per the question here it is. But in basis period, this one amount broke down in two parts, and the total is three thousand, which is taxable in twenty twenty one, and twelve thousand, which is taxable in twenty one twenty two. So one amount of twelve thousand is taxable two times. Means total taxable amount is not twelve thousand, is fifteen thousand. So what is this? So this is known as overlap profit. Overlap profit is three thousand. Three thousand. How? My real profit was twelve thousand. But while I took this profit in my basis period, it became fifteen thousand. Look here, three plus twelve. It's coming fifteen thousand. Actual profit, as per the question, is twelve. But in basis period, it sum up to fifteen thousand. Means I am paying additional amount in tax calculation format. I am adding three thousand extra. As a trading income in my format, so it's called overlap profit, and you have to you have to pay extra tax on this extra amount. Is called overlap profit, and why overlapping arises? Because your year end is not same as tax year. If you choose your year end same like tax year, overlapping will never be. Happen 
but if you choose your year end different than tax year you have to pay additional tax on additional amount which is calculated in this question is 3000 known as overlap profit that's it for this particular question any confusion please ask me otherwise you can copy it or note it down limitorious again a practice question started trade started trade is given means is first year of trade and we have year end year end year end year end okay so the first year will be the first year the format tax year basis period working and amount this is the format now after writing the format we will start with the first year first year rule is date of commencement to very first fifth april very first will fifth april will fall in which tax year 2020 or 21 21 one okay okay this is year end year end yani 12 months amount is 18000 how many months you selected september october seven november. months seven months very good so the answer will be 10500 tax year the end date is 21 so it starts from 20 so the next tax year will be 21 22 this is my second tax year now i just circle it second year what our rule is the end date which is this which is 31st august 21 is this date fall in the second tax year which is 21 22 what is your answer is it yes or no yes the answer is yes and is it exactly 12 months year end or no in this question yes is it so which rule will going to apply rule rule one is copy paste okay. copy paste means whatever is mentioned like 31st august 21 we will just replicate it we will just copy it and paste it haras done and the overlap profit which we are required by examiner to calculate it so the overlap profit will be how much your actual profit is how much what is your actual profit in the question 18000 18000 so the formula is actual profit and basis period profit difference is known as overlap profit your basis period profit will become 10500 plus 18000 so this is your basis period profit means to say 10500 plus 18000 it's total how much 28500 and the actual amount is 18000 so how much overlap is 1000 so that's it for this particular question any confusion please ask hello no question okay till here please revise it before we will move to rule number 2 and rule number 3 in our next class which will be tomorrow same time okay okay allah hafiz uh, i do have a question 